to my channel if you're new hi hey what's up and how is your day going well, today i'm giving you guys what you've been wanting I'm giving you guys what you specifically asked for an updated skincare routine i've done a skincare routine video like i think that was like some months ago but ever since then my skin has evolved and as i grow and as i keep on getting acclimated to this country my skin has been going through a lot of changes i have combination skin but because right now it's spring and so my skin is going towards the oily side i am getting quite a lot of acne when my cycle comes along my acne becomes significantly worse anyway this is an updated skincare routine and i hope you enjoy this video i hope you get tips and tricks because i'll be giving tips along the way and yeah hope you enjoy Mwah. so the first step of my skincare routine is to use a cleanser i use the hydrating cream to foam cleanser i wouldn't rate this a 10 out of 10 because i think i actually just enjoy using the foaming cleanser just the way it is i don't like the fact that it's cream i don't use it because i was trying it but it's not bad for my skin i just wish i could get a different one now i'm done with this one i might actually try the sa renewing cleanser which is good for blemishes i wipe my face first there we go in the morning it's not really important to really like double cleanse i don't cleanse at the night i just feel like from the morning to the evening i feel like your skin carries more dirt than it should when you wake up in the morning so i focus on just doing only one cleanser i'm doing only one cleansing in the morning after i'm done scrubbing my face not scrubbing but you get what i mean <laughs> i use cold water using cold water it helps to give you a really youthful skin and i realized this like three years ago i saw a visible evidence in my skin whenever i wash my face with cold water so let's do that after i use my cleanser i go straight to my facial mist but because today is my exfoliating day i exfoliate my face two times a week with my ordinary glycolic acid before i used to like do it every day but i heard that if you use it every day it could really like strip off the natural oils in your skin which could cause more problems which was probably the reason why i was getting irritations so yeah After I use my glycolic acid, it's really really drying. So I always go in my facial mist. I mean, I mean, you probably get hear this in every video I talk about, but I love my facial mist. Like it is really really important to me. <laughs> I recently got into facial mists, and I used to use this one when I was like 12ish, 30ish. My mom, my mom had like loads of this in her room. And I would use this because it felt so hydrating. It's not really important in your skincare routine, but to me it is because I like the feeling of that refreshed feeling if I put any serums on my face. After my facial mist, I go in with an antioxidant serum such as vitamin C. I use the vitamin C serum because I have some kind of e uneven skin tone and it helps to fight hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C helps to stimulate collagen production in your skin and it also helps brighten your skin. I don't know if you've seen it, but I have some kind of weird marks on my skin. I started using this Brandy Sands vitamin C serum. I wouldn't rate it an 8 out of 10. Whenever I use this one, I have like it feels really like my face feels restricted after so i was already trying this it does the work for me basically i use put that on after my vitamin c serum i go in with my hyaluronic acid from the ordinary Hydration is something I'm really, really keen on because my skin be having her own episode sometimes. I wash the serum off and then I go in with my Corsix Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. I've been really trying to get into 
Korean skincare because I just feel like theirs have more natural ingredients. I carry two drops of fat. Oh my god, the feeling already. I immediately you put this on your skin. You can already feel the effect. This is my skin after all the serums. This is how it feels hydrated and it feels really plump. While I wait for that to dry, I wash serums off my hand. I also like the feeling of serums on my hand. Like I feel like I feel like that's my pet peeve, but yeah. <laughs> I'm done with all my serums now. Then I go in with my moisturizer from CeraVe. It's the moisturizing lotion from dry to very dry skin. And it's fragrance free. Something you should really be keen on when, when you're buying skincare products. Make sure that they're fragrance free. Because sometimes, not sometimes, most times, the alcohol in it could really irritate your skin. And it could cause you more problems. Adding to the fact about fragrance free products. Really look for products that are cruelty free and vegan free. The hydration. I can feel my hydration on my skin. You know you're doing your skincare good when you can feel your skin is really happy. If there is anything you really want to buy or get from this video, get the Cosex film scene because that would elevate your skincare in every single way. So I'm done with my moisturizer. I have two sunscreens. I have one from Skin Aqua and from Beauty of Joseon, I think. And they are both from Korean brand, like I said, I really want to get into my Korean skincare game. But I'm going to use the Skin Aqua one this morning. SPF is really, really so important. When I use SPF, it helps to prevent aging and fine lines and wrinkles. So that is for my skincare this morning. I love when I do my skincare because whenever I do my skincare, I feel like I am really, really treating myself. If there's anything you take out of this video, the five things you really, really need in your skincare is a cleanser, an exfoliator, a serum, hydrating or just a serum that you think you really, that, that is really essential for your skincare, a moisturizer and SPF. It is recommended that you use at least an SPF 30 and above. So yeah, that is for my morning skincare. I'll see you guys in the evening. I'll see you guys in the evening. Mwah. So it's evening and it's time for my evening skincare routine. I've already had a shower, hence the steamy room and that is very 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 important to double cleanse so i use the same cleanser i use in the morning then i also use the garnier micellar water to double cleanse it essentially <sighs> cold then I use a cotton pad. Some people are really skeptical about the idea of using a cotton pad for cleaning your face. But like, I'm not opposed to it, but if you don't want to use a cotton pad on your face, that's fine. But personally, I'm I'm meant to just using a cotton pad to clean my face because I feel like I can really control how I am scrubbing my skin, if that makes sense. But I really focus on my T-zone because that is where I decide to break out. <laughs> and this particular micellar water it helps to hydrate the skin because sometimes your cleanser might be the reason why your skin is a bit too dry. Your cleanser could like strip off your natural oil in your skin, which is not really good for you. As you can see, it's leaving like white things on my face. So I go in and go with cold water and wash it off. Then I use my favorite facial mist that makes my heart become so warm. I shake it. I let that dry. Ah, the instant hydration. The benefits of using a facial mist, it depends on the type of ingredients that are in the facial mist. The one I use has aloe vera. Then I go in with a targeted serum. That's like the main reason why you're doing your skincare. If you're like preventing pimples, you look for a serum that helps with fighting acne or whatever. I have an uneven skin tone, so that's all the nice. Cinema is four, so I like to use it in the night. Drop. The main reason for like using targeted serums in the evening is like, that they work better when you're asleep, that makes sense. Like they, yeah, they work better when you're asleep. After my night serum, my serum, I'm going with my retinol. Retinol is really good for anti-aging. It's good for the globe, so yeah. <laughs> one drop, one drop. 
one drop. It doesn't really dry, so I just go in with my moisturizer right away. So first, I go in with this moisturizer. It's basically a soothing cream for if you have like sensitive skin. It's really good for helping to combat sensitive skin. So I have sensitive skin. So here we are. I just carry here, drop here, here like a ninja, whatever. <laughs> This is the time where I want to massage my face because it helps with circulation and all the serums that I'm using to combat the problems on my skin and sink in better. Then the last step I go in with my Holy Hydration Face Cream from e.l.f. We go here, here, yeah. And I just lightly touch that on my skin. Like for me, this moisturizer is like a icing on the cake, if that makes sense. And that's it for my evening skincare routine. This is how my face is glowing. Yeah, period. If you enjoyed this skincare, I don't know if it was boring, but like this how, that's how my skincare routine is, it's nothing really that's serious. I mean, it's kind of serious for me because I've been really been working on how to really perfect a glowing skin. Obviously, skin can't be perfect, but I would like to believe that. <laughs> but yeah, this is how my skin is always every night glowing and it is beautiful. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please pop it in the comment section below and I will answer you. If you watch to the end, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Links to wherever I got my products from, I'll leave them in the description box below for you guys. I love you guys. Have a great day and